imagine being born into a world where every person receives a guaranteed minimum amount of money just because they exist. No strings attached, no conditions required. Just enough to cover basic needs like food, clothing, and shelter. This is the promise of a universal basic income, UBI, a revolutionary policy concept gaining traction across the globe. Critics claim that UBI promotes idleness and drains resources, but these arguments ignore the transformative power of economic stability. By providing everyone with a safety net, we empower individuals to pursue their dreams and build better lives for themselves and their families. Let us embrace our shared responsibility to ensure dignified living standards for all humans. The current system leaves too many people struggling to make ends meet. Wages remain stagnant even as costs rise, forcing working parents to sacrifice time with their children to put food on the table. Young adults face crushing debts upon graduation, delaying their entry into adulthood and preventing them from contributing fully to society. Meanwhile, seniors struggle to afford medications and basic necessities in retirement. All of these problems stem from a fundamental lack of access to capital, which perpetuates cycles of poverty and despair. A UBI addresses these challenges head-on by ensuring that everyone starts life with a fair chance. Everyone deserves the right to live free from hunger, homelessness, and hopelessness. By guaranteeing a minimum standard of living through UBI, we affirm our commitment to equal opportunity and shared prosperity. We recognize that none of us achieve success alone, we all stand on the shoulders of giants. Our wealth depends on the contributions of countless workers, innovators, and visionaries throughout history. It only makes sense to extend this principle to all citizens today. Critics warn that UBI could encourage sloth and discourage hard work. But this ignores the reality that most people want nothing more than to earn a decent living doing fulfilling work. They don't aspire to sit idle all day they crave purpose and meaning in their lives. The fact that most people hate their jobs reflects a deeply ill society which has lost communication with itself. The notion that a universal basic income, UBI, would promote idleness and discourage hard work is a common critique of the policy. However, such concerns fail to consider the realities of modern labor markets and human motivations. Firstly, the premise that UBI would provide an easy alternative to working is flawed. People do not choose to be unemployed or underemployed because they prefer it to having a job. Rather, they endure these circumstances due to structural barriers beyond their control, such as insufficient job opportunities, discrimination, or lack of education or training. These obstacles persist even amid record low unemployment rates, highlighting how traditional market signals cannot solve deep-seated issues. Secondly, the belief that UBI would sap initiative misunderstands what drives individuals to seek work in the first place. Contrary to popular assumptions, people work primarily to satisfy innate psychological needs rather than material ones. Psychologists have identified three layers of human motivation, physiological, hunger, thirst, etc., safety, security, shelter, belonging, and self-fulfillment needs, esteem, competence, social. Work offers satisfaction at each level, making it difficult to quit even undesirable jobs without replacement options. Thirdly, the assumption that UBI would siphon talent assumes a static model of human behavior. Realistically, people possess varying degrees of drive and ambition. Some desire little more than subsistence, while others aim for great accomplishments. Most fall somewhere in between, influenced by personal circumstances and societal norms. 
UBI and either elevates nor diminishes intrinsic motivations, merely ensuring that everyone possesses a baseline capacity for self-expression. Therefore, the argument that UBI would foster indolence fails to appreciate the complexity of individual motivations and broader socioeconomic factors. Instead of viewing UBI as a substitute for work, consider it as a means to restore balance between individuals and the economy. By acknowledging inherent differences in ability and opportunity, policymakers can tailor UBI distributions to ensure recipients remain active contributors to society. This approach respects both the dignity of the individual and the collective responsibility to maintain a healthy community. In essence, UBI serves as a mechanism to uplift those struggling against systemic disadvantages and invigorate the entire ecosystem. A rising tide lifts all boats. To summarize, Universal basic income remains a contentious topic among scholars and politicians alike. Despite criticism surrounding its feasibility, desirability, and consequences, advocates argue that UBI represents a promising solution to many contemporary problems plaguing advanced democracies. By embracing the transformational power of universality, stakeholders can craft policies better aligned with their values and goals. Whether exploring UBI as a complement to existing systems or envisioning entirely novel frameworks, the ultimate objective should center on creating a just and sustainable society where no one is left behind. Only then will humankind truly flourish.